I feel much calmer now with a forest of my own. I used to feel like a pariah. I'm a junior after all. But now with my own forest, no spirit can harm me. Don't fret though, I won't leave you. You helped me with the Vodinoi, now it's my turn to help you. I won't leave you hanging. Howdy, Vasilisa. They've been talking about you in the village. They say you'll protect from any evil spirit. Yes, it's my craft nowadays. Me and my sister-in-law were gathering mushrooms to the north of here. I thought you might be interested. Here, I brought you some mushrooms. So we were gathering them, and all of a sudden something howled in the woods to the north of Vilgarth. On the road to his core, Lord forgive me. Clearly, a demon voice. We ran. I don't know how we managed not to lose all the mushrooms. All right. I'll check what kind of chart appeared there. Mm. Greetings, Igor Ivlampevich. Long time no see, uh, Tichon. They say a sickness has come to Iskar. Oh, a catastrophe. Me and my family had to move to my hunting lodge. The one by the river. Just to be safe. Something terrible is going on there. Yes, you better not brave the fever. I'm here on other business, though. We let these buff freeze in winter to get rid of the cockroaches. But come spring, there are armies of them marching through the house. We don't know what to do. Oh, I know of your problem, Tichon. You didn't call on any novers for your daughter's wedding. Now you have plenty of guests at home. Oh, Igor Yevlampievich, forgive me. I come bearing gifts. Here, a piece of fur, take it. Help me, will you? That's for my granddaughter to decide. Help me, mistress. I can't bear living under these conditions. All right. Tell me where you is by is. I'll drop in if I'm nearby. Oh, thank you. I'll go and tell my family the good news. Bum, 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 bum. Hello there. So, old Yegor, how you doing? Well, I can't complain. Here you are, to sweeten up your life even more. Ooh, some mash. Anyway, I have this problem. It didn't work out with the leshy. You don't say. Yeah, I've been bringing him mash. Now he's asking for offerings every night. Recently, it wasn't enough for him. He took my wooden plow. My new plow. Would you look at that? Well, my granddaughter is managing Kaldun business now. You live in Bolshoi Pole now, right? I'm going to his core, actually. Well, I moved to the new settlement to the east. All right. I'll drop by if I'm nearby. I'll see you soon. He said if I'm not nearby, not soon. Eh? Eh? Oh, I somehow clicked over there. It's like, how can I not move to the first one? They say this road was once taken by a czar, being led to his own execution. What was the reason for it? I don't know. No, I took old man. <laughs> you stop just in time. Chorts sit on the branches of an old tree. Their eyes gleam while they wait for careless passers-by who forget to cross themselves. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Road shorts, they get blocked up. Road shorts, eh, 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 uh, uh, oh, eh, 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 var Ali, uh, 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 eh, eh, uh. then, uh, oh, yeah, I took the old man, eagles, curse, curse, five, and five damage. Uh, do, 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 is there like a block? Anybody? Uh, block. Eh, yeah, we'll just take the damage. I'm sure it's fine. No, not hit for a lot. Curse. Can't believe I accidentally took that old man. 
And I already did block a lot. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, Salomon Dada. No? Parallel pep pep pep. pep. 23 to each of them. It's just the middle guy that's alive. So, regen? Middle guy? Middle guy? Parallel pep pep. Summon Dada. Color, 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 color. She dip, dip, dip. Oh, oh no, he had friends. It's fine. Um, what are you doing? Curse, curse poison, and hitting. And you got damage absorption? You slag. Uh, fierce? How many is that? It's 21. Death? Uh, circle? And that's good. Oh, wait, you're gonna play another key. Oh, well. Yay, what are you doing? Why are you bending over like that? Oh, you got a ghost hugging you, that's why. Interesting. Milk cat forest. Some woman heard loud wailing in this forest. It must be the shorts with their twisted sense of humor. I want to swap out all you or I want to have a birdie. You pass through the field where the woman heard terrible screams. This proves true. From the direction of Bolshepolsk settlement, you hear someone howling. Hello? It turns out it wasn't a demon howling, but a dog tied to a fresh blockhouse. You guess the reason. It's likely the owner of the new Izba decided to make the animal into an offering, so that life in the new surroundings is safe. Well, I'm letting the dog go. You untie the dog, and the frightened animal disappears into the forest. What fate awaits this house is unknown. But in any case, these peasants will have to do without a blood sacrifice. I don't believe in blood sacrifices. Big field village. This village has it all. Big houses, big fields. They're pretty well off, if you ask me. Oh. But they have cockroaches? Despite the close proximity to Iskor, the peasants of Bolshoya Polya are unconcerned. Life here goes on its usual way. And the people don't even begin to suspect that dangerous shorts bearing a sickness may be close. Mm. Oh, right. It's just this shop. Eh? I can see an enemy's hand. I've never played that. The villagers think that they have nothing to fear. They regularly go to the church and even visit Banya's. Okay. Later. Peel? Aleshi has started to bother this newly founded village. He asks for too much smash and once stole a plow from one of the peasants. So selfish. Greedy, greedy, greed. Greedy Aleshi. The settlement smells like new Izbaz. And even in this late hour, the work here goes on. Someone is building a barn. Someone is fixing the tools for field work. You find the man who asked for your help. Despite his loss, he doesn't falter, and tries to make some substitution for the lost plow. Mm. Oh, Vasilisa, thank God, I thought you'd never come. You can't really roam around the region with a fever in Iskor, right? I was nearby, so I decided to drop in. Well, I don't even know what to say. It's a disaster. Your wooden plow was taken by the Leshi? Imagine that. What a plow that was, a work of art. Wooden plow? Tell me what's gone missing. Well, I know your kind doesn't really work in the field. But a peasant's plow is like your sorceress books for you. Can't do without it. I mean, I'm cool to know it for a reason, I ain't dumb. We plow the field with it. <gasps> is that why it's called a plow? Wow. And my wooden plow is the latest innovation of engineering. How oh, I've been saving so long for it. And why does the forest master need it even? So you weren't on very good terms with Leshi, right? What do you mean, not on good terms? I have a field near the Fairwood, and I've always left him some offerings, as is proper. Never had any problems? There? To the east? Right. Interesting. 
Maybe you left him lousy offerings, so he punished you, no? God forbid, Vasya. I've been giving him even more than usual lately. And still he asked for more. Have you talked to the Lishi? Well, no. I left a charter near the offering. My granddad taught me one Zagabor. So, recently the forest master left a note that said to bring him more. More mash! Are you sure it's the Leshy and not just like a hobo stealing it? Well, that's new. The Leshy writing something on a charter. I don't remember hearing that. So I brought more, and still he asked for even more. Wasn't enough for him. So he punished me. Today I'm bringing him another offering. Interesting. You know what? I'll check on the Leshy myself. Give me that offering of yours and wait for me here. He may kill you. Oh, Lord have mercy. Here, take this mash. Well, see you soon. Uh, to the field. This is the place where the present leaves the gift. I say peasant or present? The field covered with fog reminds you of Nimzia, but only the surface. You don't feel the crushing presence of ancient evil spirits. It's hard to imagine that the master of the forest himself came to this old tree stump. When you put the mash on the stump, you hear a loud cracking in the forest. At the foggy edge of the forest appears the tall figure of the spirit. Sup, hobo? Howdy, master of the forest. Hey there, young woman. Yes, it is I, the master of the forest. You don't sound like a master of the forest. Leave the mash on the stove and be on your way, or else I will kill you. Leshi? I've met a Leshi before. Didn't think I would again. Yes. Run while you still can. Oh, any minute the pines will sway, the shorts will swall from all around. Mm. Why do you need so much strong drink, Master of the Forest? Well, it's to, to feed my forest children. I thought mash was mashed potato, not a drink. The terrible chorts of the forest. As soon as you see them, you will die from fear. They say you took a wooden plow from the peasants. This was an offering to the master of the forest. To us, that is. <laughs> well, I've learned what I needed, forest man. Isn't sharp? You shouldn't have stolen the plow. I can make this chart come clean. But what Zuckover should I use? For what evil spirit? Eh, peasant. Right? I don't need any Zuckovers for you. Remove your costume. Look at them playing Yuletide games. You whisper a black Zuckover, and the would-be Leshi splits in two. Hey you, why did you fall? Hey! Well, hello, Master of the Forest. Well, hello, hello, but what's the point of fighting? I fell because of the girl. Something struck me over the head, as if with a whip. I think I even heard... Whoosh. What whip? What whoosh? But a whip goes... Zhoosh. That's what I said. Whoosh. What are we talking about? I don't care for your whips, man. Why are you pretending to be a Leshi? So you figured it out, but uh, it's not that bad, understand? We do need mesh like any other Leshri. Tell me, where did you take the plow? Oh, you know about that too. Let's do it this way. We give you money, and you forget all about this. No. Nope. Oh no. Either you tell me where a wooden plow is, or I curse you both so badly that you'll be hunchbacks until the day you die. All right, all right. We hid it here. The master of the forest shows you the cache where the tool was hidden. And now let's go, you hear? We'll give you money. Nope. Oh no, wait for the owner here. You whisper a couple of Zagavers and tie down the peasants. For several hours, they won't be able to move. All you have to do is tell the owner of the plow about your findings. Your acquaintance beams with joy when you tell him about the wooden plow you found. This is the most important tool for him. 
He thanks you, bows low, and gives you some food for the road. Thanks. When you mentioned that suspicious peasants were hiding under the guise of Aleshi, he promises to personally teach them a lesson. He seems to know this pair. I hope that doesn't mean murder them, but whatever. This village is large and quite beautiful, which makes it much harder to look at. Such a tragic sight. Where a fever thrives, everything starts to decay. The presence of the fever isn't apparent, but you feel it, filling people with horror and grief, wearing them out more and more every hour. That's how evil spirits replenish their powers. If you don't drive away the fever, it might decimate all of Iskor, and then jump onto someone's shoulder to find more victims. Mm -hmm. The shop of the merchant Peshekhonov is closed as well. There's a note on the door saying they are not at home. An attempt to outsmart the fever. A frightened peasant girl tells you through the closed door that the merchant has fallen ill, as well as the priest. She recognizes you as a witch and begs you to help his score. Mm. The streets are strangely empty. Many of the shutters are closed, and even the tiniest amount of silver light doesn't shine through the thick curtains. You knock on one Izba and then another, but no one answers. Finally, one anxious peasant tells you that all the sick are at the physician's place, near the village. He doesn't open the gates to you. Mm. The doors of the stone church are closed. Near the porch, a couple of chorts are playing cards. Happy with the peasants' deaths, the chorts feel themselves at home. You can play with them, but if you lose, they will momentarily take control of your soul. I'll just kill them. Back to hell for you boys. Uh, six damage. Are there any blessings upon me? No? Blessings? Nava? Anybody? Blessings? Anybody? He's got a thing out, so let's hit. You know what? Let's just pop the thing out. We're just going to pop it. Pop it, pop it, what? Pop it, pop it, what, what? Pop it, pop it, what? Let's see how this goes. Nah, that slap. Green dot slap. Moon Brothers. Below. Where? Curse. Two the curse of one. Attack and. Bam, bam. The other one. Attack and. Blah, blah. Ah, well. Super bless, super bless, super bless now. Yeah. E tongue and golden thing. No forget a greja. Uh, no forget a greja. Uh. Let me we'll take the this one. Oh, to the market. I wonder if it's open. I used to sell a lot. You get to the empty Iskor market. The empty shops are looking at you like the eyes of dead men. You clutch your book against your will, and for a good reason. You notice chorts that have gone hungry without people hustling around. Oh no. Short vendor. Father Pahali. Uh, sticky. A uh, curse, curse, and a uh, herb. We're gonna use a uh, regen. Father Morali, curse, sticky, curse. Bless, bless, uh, everybody. Circle, fiend, you. Sure. 
looks good, right? What are you doing? Not the statuses. I bless. You beesh. Uh, what we got here? You on you? Nah, but is this enough? Yeah, this card, and then we'll key tongue, and then we'll forever and ever. Will remember the name of that card. Yay! Yay! Uh, to the river. In this hunting hut lives a man who didn't want to invite Kuldun to his wedding. Now his house is full of cockroaches. As we get disrespect. You find a house in a picturesque place near East Court. The Izba is really crawling with cockroaches. They gather in places where light from the sliver of sun or the stove don't reach. In the far corner, you notice a short. That's the reason for all the insects. Uh. Hey, demon, stop right there. You can hide from me. Great in switch, mistress. I am here on your kind's behalf, so everything is in order. Well, that's enough. Old Yegor told me to let you go. How is that? I'm not used to this sort of thing. I'm not your typical chart. I know how to do my job. I was told to breed cockroaches. That's what I do. I don't believe you. Let old Yegor come for his charts by himself. I brought him with me conveniently. He no longer can. Why is that? I'm his only diligent chart. He's better come. He's right here. That's kind of BS that I have him as my partner, but he's not here. Igor won't be able to come for this chort, but how can I convince him? Uh, old. He's too old. Well, he's become too old. Has difficulty getting around. No. Nope. If you want to outsmart the chort, you'd better think of something better. I won't stand for these tricks. Um, okay. Let's see if your mentor taught you well. He's right here. Oh. I thought you were like a boss. Immunity to that other crown, so that's fine. Let's see his moon brother just because it gives me an extra blessing. Um let's curse you. And let's... Eh, 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 eh. That's just cool to invade you. Bam. Probably should have used air, but... But... Mm -hmm, curse. He gave that one armor. The crown. You're never gonna do anything with that. Let's do double pearl up pep. pep. Pearl up pep. pep. Pearl up pep. See your depth short. Sure. Uh, we wanna use uh, That's for show. Sure. Is there a blessing one I got? This? Yeah. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Slap, 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 slap. Damn, I'm so close. Yay, probably wasted, but yay. I mean, slap. Oh, Aspen. That will heal me. Do I want to go to George? Sticky. Sticky? Let's do something. What? I don't want to use the regen. Sure. I 
That's been... Nice, that hurt me a lot. In. Yeah. Don't want to do it like. Now let's uh let's hit him. We'll just nab it, and we'll nab it, and we'll. You know what? We're gonna block. No one's cursed, so. Oh, we still get it. Okay. Ba -ba -da -bum. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Give me more help. Oh, give me more help. I'm gonna hit you anyway, so give me. Snape. Um. Because I don't have that one. On to the station. This village built a large paramedic station where they supposedly can treat diseases. Or at least they try to, but there are no cold dooms. All of this treating has led to the appearance of a fever. Because the cool dunes mad? Is it old Igor? Did you do this? Let's say it. Well, there are the recently dead people I need to. Which? I got 66 herbs. Lord, are those bodies? You feel uneasy because of the flies buzzing around the victims of the fever. Nevertheless, you've reached your goal. Now you need to wait for the night and gather the necessary ingredients without driving the fever out. Oh. Is it like I can't help the village? Is that what it told me? Laundry? In the rain? These are the washed bandages and clothes. They're running the barn. Various tools are kept here for work in the garden. Some household birds live here as well. Oh, like the chickens? What do you mean, like exotic birds? Peacocks. Hmm. I can make a thing here which will drive out the fever, but I can't drive out the fever. Don't go walking around here. Aren't you afraid to catch the disease? Haven't you heard we have a visitor here? Well, go. Don't stare at me like that. We don't have enough medicine as it is. We don't need another sick girl here. Eh, uh, fever? Tell me about this sickness of yours. When did it come on? Not so long ago, but this sister packs quite a punch. Grabs everyone indiscriminately. Many of those are dead already. So go on, go hide at home, so she won't take you too. I've already seen all that I need. I want to help these people. Eh, uh, the cure? What do you use to cure the fever? Nothing. There are no Noahs around. We called for a doctor. He hasn't any time for us. They say he was also cursed. I am the only one left here. I've been working like a dog. What's the name of the doctor? Some educated person. Studied in Petersburg. Alexander. Ah, so he's done this. We built this hospital with his donations. He is also the animal doctor here. He used to help with animals in this area. Hmm. What can you tell me about your village? Well, it's your typical village. They say the Chute used to live here long ago. People tell all kinds of stories, especially about the ruins on the hill. Hmm, thanks. I'm a knower. I know my herbs. I can help you with the cure. I'll need some bottles for decoction. Can I take yours? Oh, the Lord in heaven. Of course. I don't even know how to help the sick. To get rid well, of the that's fever, good. I'll need cuckoo's tears, Adam's head, and chicken droppings. The herbs I'm certain to find in the yard. Now we're chickens also out there, so that's a plus. Sick people. The most complicated cases are assigned here. One of the patients is shaking with fever, so she marked him. You can help the sick and drive her out, but for that, you'll need to make a concoction. Concoction. 
I don't understand. Chicken droppings? Various tools are kept here for work. You disperse the chickens and gather enough ingredients for the decoction. Yay, decoction. Concoction. Decoction. Concoction. So many vines. What with herbs, I bet. You found all the herbs you need. The medicine is ready, but the peasant needs precisely four cups of concoction. The kitchenware is not the most fitting, but you realize that even it will do to measure the necessary amount. Oh god, here's a measuring puzzle. I go back, reset. Oh god, empty, empty, empty. What is this? One flask plus two bottle equals four of the bottle. Eh? No. Okay, and then we go into the small one. Right, and then we go into the large one. And go into the small one. And then we go into the small one. And then we go into the large one. Small. Right, what? The large, small one. Oh, the small one. What? So this whole bottle is what I need. We have if I understood what this poster actually says, so... I don't know. Is the small one plus this one? What? I don't, I don't understand. Those without herbs won't be of any good. You found all the herbs you need. The medicine... You need precisely four cups. These all have different measurings. Okay. Oops. Also, this being turned around is so annoying. It's like big little, big little, big little, big little, big little, little big, big little, little big, big, big little. Did you mean little big? Big little. Um, and then we go little. And then we go big. No. Little. Okay, well we need one to empty. Little. Little. I don't know what I did there. So that was four. The decoction is ready. You should give it to the peasant suffering from the fever. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. Just kept clicking till it worked. The most complicated cases are assigned here. One of the patients is shaking with fever. So she marked him. You can help the sick and drive her out, but for that, you'll need to make a concoction. I did. You draw a circle, give the sick person some of the concoction, and take a step back. Some of the decoction? Who the frick is that? It's the sickness. She looks super angelic for a sick lady. What a pleasant meeting. I've always been attracted to Meiji of all sorts. I like your secrets. Did you know, girl, there are much more dangerous than me? I am, of course, speaking about my insatiability. Okay. Secrets? Knowers don't have many secrets. No more than regular people. 
Oh, that is not so. A long time ago, my father, Beard the Great, had to kill countless innocent children. Can we blame him for that? Yeah. Or should we blame the Magi who kept quiet about your mysterious future king? And where is he now? When the one in charge of these lives is obviously me. What? Either? Tell me, what kind of chord are you? Oh, these northern backwoods. What refinement and manners. But I don't mind talking to you. You may prove to be a better talker than these good-for-nothing peasants. Remember my name. Salamia. My sisters may not care for names, but not me. Not me, not Lucia, not Flamia, not Karkusha, not Plumpia. I'm shaking even thinking about these nicknames. Shaking! But I digress. Yes, I am the same as you. I used to be human. Well, you know. Now I have more power than any mortal. Don't compare us. I'm nothing like you. Not like me yet. Uh, the sick. Why do you torture these people? It's my destiny. My necessity. You see, young sorceress, I'm an ancient and immortal being. But I need to feed on these sick. Mm. I need. Of course, you need a dead man for the ritual of the summer solstice. Oh, Magi. Millenniums pass and you don't change. Well, be glad that you met me. I offer you my sacrifice as a sign of respect to those who seek knowledge. Enough. I have to decide what to do with this demon. Uh, drive the beaver out. Looks like this demon won't be easy to negotiate with. I'll make her leave only if I kill a peasant or outsmart her. I don't think this hard-headed demon will stay here if I mock her properly. Listen, Karkusha. I'm not Karkusha to you. I'm Salamea. Salamea. Not Lihoradka. What? What? I'm not sure I heard you right. Flamia or something? Ah! I'll leave this house, but for a little while, you can't drive me away, and I don't want to fight you. There are so many ancient cities around where I can hide and wait you out, as well as in my own chambers. I won't test my fortune. After all, it's not the first time I've encountered Magi. You don't have time to read a Zagavar before the fever turns into a foul whirlwind and flies away. Judging by the fact that the peasant hasn't gotten better, she left a piece of her essence in the hospital. What was that microphone change? Uh, leave the people alone after it. Now I need to track her. I better not make any mistakes. She spoke of some ancient city. Where could she uh, go to? It's unlikely she made it far from her victims. Sheridan? Vilgor. Another city. I've heard that this town is very old, but very far from Isgor. Uh, we'll go children. I guess this one, because it's the only one I don't recognize. Some people used to live in Kudimkar, but it's rather far away. I've heard there's an old Chute Hill fort near Isgor. She'll wait for me there. Wait. Without so it was Isgor. Any time you go after the demon. So it said near it. Far? Wherever you are? To get to the top of Isgor Hill Fort, I need to walk between these two rocks. They call the scroll space a narrow street. Oh. Huh? The narrow crawl space between the rocks is filled with a sickly fog. It indicates that you're on the right track. Salamea is hiding somewhere in the ancient Chud town. She left some of her henchmen here. You take out your black book. <laughs> The fever servant. What are you doing? You're all hitting me. It's a bit rude. Am I gonna curse? I'm the strongest. Uh, I say by strongest, I mean who's hitting me the most. We're gonna give the old block. Uh, curse. You depth. You. Uh, herb. 
Ooh, wah, eh, wah. I guess I'll do that one. Curse. Wow. Well. Wow. Wow. Well. Okay. He slaps me. It's blacked. He slaps me. Black. Slap me. Black. Slap me. Blacked. Black. Slap me. Black. Black. Slap me. Black. I'm so slappy. Slappy with my black. Okay, so we're gonna hit everyone. Hit the cursed guy. Hit the cursed guy. Moon brother. But I'm full health actually. Actually, I probably should have saved up him and uh, reversed the two spells, but whatever. Oop. Growth. Getting big. He's getting big. Big, big, big. Oi. It's deep. It's dark. It's dangerous. Scary and strangerous. Wow. 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 Oh, he's gonna actually hurt me a bit. Mega slap. <sighs> gonna have to hit you back. Gonna hit you back. Um, hmm. I guess bliss. Bliss. Uh, hit. Sticky. Uh, sure. Number eight. Wow. Wow. Number eight. No. Uh, one more damage and he'd be dead. Ow. Motherfucker. I guess heal a little bit. And then we'll. Just hit him. Uh, uh, we got all of them. The hill fort. Fever fled to the top of Iskor hill fort. I should hurry if I want to drive it from the village. Come back here, Fever. I should have just tried to fight you and not let you leave. You look like a scorpion. You found me. Nice work, sorceress. But you won't beat me. I ordered you around even before we'd met. And I order you now. Leave a score. Okay. Nava. Parapalap palap nava. Kulin fiend. Parapalap palap kulin nava. Okay, okay, damage absorption, you lost your buff, and then I got a curse. Persistent winds, decompose, decompose, still doesn't matter because I'm immune to waste. What's this one? Waste, that's fine, we want to bar Harley. Uh, Nava again? Uh, ever, and, 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 ever, and we'll slap ya. And we'll... Status from enemy, heal myself, uh... What do I want to do? Um, increase damage received by enemy for five. Sure? Uh... 15 uh, 15 Wow uh, 20 uh, 18 Forever and ever No You're good You're wasting away She takes damage from her ways Curse Dun 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 What was that one? You don't really think you can- I don't care if you- 
I don't care if you're the devil's daughter. What does she do? What is this? 10 down. Uh, immunity waste. Suppress immunity to waste. Oh. Yeah, cheeky bitch. Do I have a curse 10? Curse 10. 10. Curse 10. Curse. Curse 10. Increase the effectiveness of well verse waste on an enemy or we one harmful status. Oh Damn it was a decompose. I wanna hit you with spells, 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 with with spells. I wanna hit you with spells, spells, spells. Nada. Totabada. Horakor. Weakness 7, and I curse 10. Hey, you're rotting me? And undead? I cannot heal. Alright. Undead. Okay, well, let's hopefully get rid of undead. Nope, we got rid of. Wow, the rot. Increase poison each turn for five. And then poison is when I play a card, I get damaged, right? Curse. Uh. I haven't been cursed. I haven't been. Oh. That's definitely Salamandari. I guess. Forever and ever. Ow. Why was I taking health every time I... Right. Why does poison look like waste? That's so aggravating. Poison. Waste. Same icon. Stop. Don't kill me. Let's make a deal. Never... My deaf grandpa right here that never talks warned me of your cunning. He warned me. Uh... Undead hurts me. Right. Poison. That's hurting me. Right. But what I can do is play that block card. Wasn't that like a block 10? Uh, block 5. Block 10. Fuck it. Thistle. This Thistle. Ow. That's 4 damage. 4. 8. I hope that still doesn't count as 4. Because that's kind of BS if it does. The block doesn't even stop the poison. She's undying again. She is undead. Cool. Never can heal. That's a thing. Uh, poison is three. And that's I'm gonna get repoisoned. So I gotta do cards now. Really. Which kind of makes me wish I had a. What's it called? D depth depth. But nope. Reach it. Reach it. Pull up. Pull up. Bean. Hope I don't d d die. Oh no, I won. Heck yeah, fuck you. The fever is gone. It won't bother Iskor for the next couple of years. Unfortunately, it is very hard to banish this malady permanently, the same as the other ancient shorts. After waiting for a night with a heavy heart, you gather enough fat for the ritual candles from the Salomea victims. The dead won't need it anyway. Yay, fat. <laughs> 